Appearance of Jack C4 Front View Side View Back View C4 Static Measurement of Control Box Measure the bridge pressure drop as follows. Check the pressure drop and surrounding register of IGBT Q5, Q7, Q8, Q9, Q10, Q11. Verify that whether they are unsorted or damaged. C4 control box E01, motor stalling. First step is to turn the handwheel. Check whether the machine got stuck or not. Troubleshoot mechanical problems first. Step 2. Check whether the motor hall circuit is disconnected. It is mainly manifest as plug-in loose or motor hall damage. Replace defective devices if it's disconnected. Check the pressure drop of IGBT, Q5, Q7, Q8, Q9, Q10, Q11 and surrounding register to see whether they are unsoldered or damaged. Check whether FAM73892, U2 and input register are loose soldering or damaged. Check the current and register. Also remove the test whether the TVS2 is damaged. C4 control box E02, software overcurrent E19, system detection circuit failure. First, check if the U3 and surrounding circuits whether are damaged or not. Then check the U3 chip and the surrounding register and capacitor whether are damaged. Step 3, check the register R100 to R109, R51, R56, R59, near U17 and capacitor C19 to C21. If any, replace the defective devices. If it is normal, we can test whether the pin 1 and 4 of U17 have 2.5 voltage, whether pin 4 and 7 have 5 voltage, replace U17 if the voltage is abnormal. C4 control box E03 communication mode function. The first step, check whether the panel communication line J3 is loose. Then check the panel whether it's normal by using the substitution method. Replace a good panel to see if it works. If it does not work, please replace the panel. After troubleshooting panel issues, check whether the U18, U19 chip and the surrounding components are short circuited and burned. If yes, please replace the components. The first step, check whether the motor hall circuit is disconnected. It is mainly as plug-in loose or motor hall damage. Yes, replace the defective components. If it still reports the E04 after replacing the new motor, then check whether the GE socket is in good contact and whether the register capacitor around the interface is damaged. If any, just replace a new one. Test surrounding register R114 to R117, R119, and R34 and whether the register is normal. Test whether the surrounding capacitor C30 to C35S is normal. If it's abnormal, please replace one. C4 control box E05, the needle stop fault. Replace a new motor with substitution method. Check whether the motor stop needle hole is damaged. If it is normal after replacing the new motor, replace the needle stop hole on the problem motor. Step 2. Check whether the J3 interface is in good connection and its surrounding register R110 to R113 capacitor C57 to C58 is damaged or not. C4 control box E06 press foot safety switch alarm if the panel shows E06. The first step is to load down the presser foot. Press the P key. If still show error, please do the as following. Step 2. Check whether the position of the screw is right. Step 3. Clean the foot sensor. Step 4. Check if the plug is in good connection. Step 5. Turn off the P57 parameter press foot protection switch function according to the video instruction. C4 control box E07 safety switch alarm for sewing bed. The first step, if the panel show E07. Step 2. Clean the sensor.
Step 3. Check if the plug is in good connection or not. Step 4. Switch off the function of the protection switch of the P58 parameter according to the video instruction. C4 control box E08. Safety switch alarm for NATO bar protection. The first step, close the NATO bar protection. Step 2, check whether the plug is in good connection or not. Step 3, when the plug is in good connection but still show error, clean the sensor of the NATO bar. Step 4, switch off the NATO bar protection function of P59 parameters according to the video instruction. C4 control box E09, the pedal connection is abnormal. The first step, check whether the pedal plug is in good connection or not. Step 2, use the substitution method to determine whether the problem is with the pedal. If it works properly after replacing the pedal, then please check the pedal and speed control hall. Step 3, check whether the resistor and capacitor around J11 is normal. C4 control box E10, hardware overcurrent. The first step, see whether the components in the PCB is damaged and pin 38 of U4 of 38 feet, R21 is virtual welding. Step 2, test the pressure drop of IGBT, Q5, Q7, Q8, Q9, Q10, Q11, and whether the surrounding register is desoldering and damaged. Step 3, check the current sampling register and remove TVS to check whether it is short circuit. Check whether D31, D32, and Q18 are normal. After confirming that the above components are normal, but it still show E10, check whether C1 is 1.5 voltage after power on. If not, please replace U7. If it's still not normal, please continue to replace U2. C4 control box E11, overpressure during shutdown, E12, the system under voltage. The first step, check if the input voltage is AC 220 voltage. Step 2, check the big capacitors and R96 to R99, whether R101 is damaged or not. C4 control box E13, brake circuit abnormal. The first step, check whether the semen register plug connection is well, whether the register value is normal. Step 2, check whether the Q3 and surrounding diodes are damaged. If it is damaged, please replace. C4 control box E14, parameter reading and writing abnormal. The first step, check whether the voltage at both ends of C22 capacitor is 5 voltage. If normal, replace the crystal oscillator Y1. Step 3, if still shot E14, please replace the single chip. If no single chip, return to factory for repair. C4 control box E26, communication failure of switchboard and controller. The first step, check that the connection is loose or not. Step 2, check U4, U5, and the surrounding register and capacitor. If it is damaged, please replace one. If there are still problems, please replace the switchboard. Return to factory for repair. C4 control box EA1. The counter reached maximum piece. C4 control box EA2. The counter reached minimum piece. C4 control box. Power without L plus 5 voltage. U plus 5 voltage maintenance. Use the multimeter dial gear to check whether the 1 and 2 feet of the power chip U20, U21 corresponding to L plus 5 voltage, U plus 5 voltage are short circuited. If short circuit, change U20, U21 is okay. Replace the input register R135, R137 and the stabilizer Z1 or R138 and the stabilizer Z6. Check whether the switch MOS is normal and the sample register R71, R76, R74, R77 to R80 is normal. Whether the transformer pin is broken or not welded. If yes, replace the defective devices. Check whether the switch is connected. 
the fuse is broken, whether the common mode inductor is broken, D28 is damaged or wrongly welded, whether the starting register is damaged or not soldered, whether the switch MOS Q16 is damaged, if yes, replace a new one. C for control box, non-function. The electromagnet does not move. First, replace the corresponding electromagnet. Check and confirm if the function is normal. Test the 1, 3 pin of the functional tube. Test the 2, 3 pin of the functional tube. Note, the four functional tube test methods are the same. If the value difference is bigger than 0.1, replace function tube. If it's still abnormal, replace the corresponding optocoupler.